Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, I'm Zemore, the dad in DPS, and we're back with another episode of The Good, The Scrap and The Script. Now, I'm trying to get through my backlog of really good weapons, um, and today's one is no different. Now, I'd like to thank all of our YouTube members first. That is Twice Bakes Buds, Gold Wyatt Blackburn, Wallers Me, David Smith, Dio Fane Gaming, Fire the Druid, Colin G, Gary McKnight, Chris K, Brian RMC, and Peggy McKnight. Big thank you to all you guys. Um, if there's anybody that has like became a YouTube member after I've made this video because they're all kind of being made on one of the same days so I can spend more time with my kids I do apologize we will get you in as soon as possible and I will usually mention you down in the description of the video um, so yeah big thanks to anybody that has done that if you'd like to become a YouTube member don't forget to click the join link down below and don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more content from me in the future so let's get on with it in Appalachia there was a gun from very long ago, it was big and strong, and at the tip a flaming glow. It's Boom Boom, Boom Sputin, killer of the Scorch Beast Queen. So, this gun, if you hadn't seen this gun, I got it during one of my live streams, it is a very tasty god roll. It is a two shot, bullets explode for area damage, 15% faster reload, handmade rifle. It is going to be amazingly powerful. I'm really looking forward to using this. I think I had a similar one a while back. Um, but yeah, it's been a while since I've had the two-shot uh, explosive in my hands for this particular gun. Um, I'm really looking forward to testing it, and I already know it's going to be good, so there's no reason for me to pretend, oh, I wonder how good it's going to be. It's going to be good. It's going to be very good. Let's get to showing you how good. So this gun, well, if you've never used a handmade rifle, you're never really going to know how good they are in general. Um, they're fantastic guns, very varied, uh, good with multiple different effects, and this is one of the ones that is no different. Um, as you can see, I didn't even need to do any more than one shot on that guy. Now I am sneaking, but these freaking mole rats are up my bum. Uh, as you can see, it's just an insanely good gun. Um, I don't seem to be able to sneak very well, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, it just completely minces anything it touches. Um, there's not really much else to say about it. Three of them up there, all murdered in an instant. Um, it's just a very, very, very good gun in general, and I have absolutely no problem screaming from the rooftops that I am so happy to have gotten this just from the bloody Scorch Beast Queen. Um, it's just a very, 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 very impressive gun. I don't, did I get it from the Queen or did I get it from a creature that was around the Queen? It may have been a creature that was around the Queen. Either way, good gun kills very well. So you guys have seen this build plenty of times. We've got our damage mitigation and uh, weight perks, tank killer, all the commando perks, ground pounder for extra reload and concentrated fire. Then we've got tenderizer over here. I am in nerd rage range, so that is going to boost all that. We've got demolition expert, adrenaline, um, covert elks, uh, oxford, operative if I manage to stay hidden and then we've got things like critical savvy and um, better criticals. Tormentor is amazing on this gun because obviously two shot and explosions um, and then bloody mess. That can potentially be swapped out for different things so for example if I'm killing a lot of uh, smaller enemies Grim Reaper Sprint is probably a better choice because I can just cycle through them all but either way you can see exactly what I've got here and what I can get uh, if I choose so. So, as usual, we come over to Jeff to teach him a lesson about love, life, and me shooting him in the face with an automatic rifle. Jeff really gets it hard for me, doesn't he? That sounded wrong, but, you know, you get what I mean. Let's see how quick he dies. Yep, less than a clip. Poor Jeff. Let's try the Queen. Now, as with uh, most attempts I make on the life of the Marlark Queen, I tend to clear out the little enemies around her, but in this instance, I want to show you if any of them freaking show up. They might have all ran over there for today. Um, ah, there you are. It kills Marlarks really quick. Um, they 
have usually really good armor, but this thing just completely slices through them like they're made of tissue paper. So fantastic for killing Mylarks. Now we'll wake up the queen and then we'll retreat a little bit and crouch down before she realizes what's going on. Um, and then we are going to target those leggy legs. Uh, hopefully we can cripple them. There's one down. And then we just swap over to the other side and then she's down. And you can see in terms of damage, she's pretty much dead already. Uh, this is a very, very good weapon for killing the queen. And I don't even need to like rush it anymore. She's pretty much already dead. I just need to kill her little butt buddies that have came to stop me from killing her. Um, and yeah, easy as that. Tormentor is fantastic for big enemies like this. So yeah, always have it on. What the hell just went flying past? That was weird. So, as with anything, I take a little journey into Daily Ops. Now, I'm doing this solo, so if you see me die, ignore it. Um, it's a weapon that I think is going to do really well. I think enemies are going to drop, like, a house of cards against this thing. Um, it is really just a case of absolute, incredibly powerful rifle. Um, and it's all about whether I can get the hits in before they get the hits in which tends to be the case with decryption. Um, if enemies see me before I see them, then there's a good chance I'm gonna die. Uh, but that isn't the weapon's fault, that is mainly just my reaction speed and just the way the game works. Uh, let's see if I can get the heads. Yeah, there we go. Two down. So you're seeing it's doing really well. I'm not using a lot of ammo um, in order to do it, and I'm getting a decent amount back as well. Uh, so, Overall, it's definitely doing its job, um, and it's just a very good weapon. I, I don't really know much, what else to say about it. It completely destroys most enemies, um, and because of the explosions and whatnot, it's just absolutely obscene when um, you use it with all the explosive perks. Uh, and even when enemies are getting me up close, I'm still taking them out quite confidently. Um, I actually think I'm doing faster <laughs> kills than with a lot of full teams that I've had. Hello. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, so yeah, definitely doing its job. So we're up against the end boss of this, and I'm going to see if I can blow his face off. If he'd stop freaking hiding behind something, I he'd, all pro oh, blah, blah, blah. he'd probably already be dead. You freaking jerk off. There we go. Kills him fairly quickly. Very good weapon. And if you look, I've only just managed to miss the 8 o'clock thing. Um, so yeah, very good weapon. Can get you through here solo rather easily. So that was today's video guys, if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe, it really helps out the channel and if you would like to become a YouTube member click the join link down below. So this weapon, fantastic, I absolutely love everything about it, I think it's just a really good variation of the handmade and two shot explosive is usually a really good combination. So this is very much going to kill just about any small enemy with great ease, don't get me wrong, this is not the best to use on the Queen and the Arrow but it's still a good weapon. On top of that, its main downside is that it does basically break a lot quicker. Um, so you are going to have to repair it more often than a normal handmade. Most two-shot explosive weapons are the same. So yeah, overall very good. But with that, we'll catch you all next time in the Wasteland.